Hey guys, we got emergency communication exercise today and I have a dead battery that I'm gonna put on charge. I have two batteries. Uh, Vince VE6LK told me one is none and two is one. So <laughs> I brought out two batteries. I don't have two solar panels. The other one's at home. So uh, power film, these are foldable solar panels. This is not that heavy. I think it's about three pounds. I'm trying to remember here. Um, it's rated at uh, 7.2 amps at 15.4 volts so in in full sun of course so we got some sun insulation here sun's up high in the sky we'll probably definitely get some good current coming out of this to charge up a, a lipo battery that i got so this is the 120 watt panel i have the 120 and i also have the 60. why two well uh, i have a backup panel but i could also charge two separate batteries or I could put the two together and get 180 watts and get some more um, charge, um, charging current into the battery and get things done a lot simpler and easier. So what really makes it nice about is the foldable is just really the deployment of it. So let me get it, grab a battery. Ah, move my cable. So um, there it is laid out, uh, the size on it, I should probably look up the actual measurement side, but a couple of paces, so it's six, seven feet by, probably looks like uh, 30, probably 40 something inches wide, maybe, maybe two feet by six and a half feet or something like that. So it is a lot bigger than what would be considered the large, heavy uh, 100 watt typical panel you'll see on the roof of a person's house. Some are rated 120 watts as well too. Those, those are very heavy, those are fixed use. This is for portable use, uh, which means I could put it in a backpack or I could have the radio guy carry the backpack with the solar panels and batteries and radios in it. And, uh, or uh, I could just throw this in the back of the car. Um, so rated seven amps, that's great current. I could probably at 12 volts feeding into an SLA battery, I could probably run my radio while the battery is charging. And sometimes that's what people do. So as the battery is being depleted, the solar charger is uh, filling, filling up the battery to replenish it. Uh, typically, I'll probably just use a, uh, a charge battery while I'm doing my operations. And then what will happen is we'll move over to um, charging a, a dead battery and then swapping the batteries out. So again, you have two batteries, you have a backup and uh, two solar panels might be the way to do it or two batteries and a single solar panel. One battery's charging and the other one you're actually using it. So uh, pretty straightforward and easy, easy to pack up and put away as well too. So, connectors are very, very rugged. This is not gonna break off. I had this issue with other stuff using their, uh, you know, the typical solar panel connector on it. I, I don't know, I, <laughs> I put everything on Anderson Pull. So, um, my ch solar charge controllers, uh, the Buddy Pull one that I use uh, has Anderson Pulls on it. But if I use my Goal Zero box, then I, I, I modified it so I could take an Anderson Pull 
on the box and then I, I have a couple other ones. I have one that I think lasted uh, lasted about a month and then when I went to go use it, it didn't work anymore so I was kind of stuck trying to recharge a, a laptop out in the field for logging so question is do you log with a laptop out in the field or do you log with paper and pencils well you got to have a backup for everything right so solar power is something that will allow you to do a backup but also allow you to keep your batteries charged well uh, out in the field so that's it quick look at the power film 120 foldable solar panel